Hello, it's Blind My Shizzle again, and uh, here I've got a knife only zombies with me and two friends. And as you can see, we started at round 14 because we end up getting to round 17, and yeah, just thought I'd show you the end and how we actually did it. And before anyone comes saying, Oh, you said knife only in the fences, well, yes, knife only, but we used grenades and the electric fences, and I think, yeah, I managed to get monkey bombs really luckily, so. And yeah pretty much case there we throw a monkey bomb and we run for it because by this time it takes two knives with a bowie knife to to kill them and if we go down you know the money we spend we end up running out of money because you just have to teleport I saw things were getting sticky so I got the fuck out of there no it is really quite difficult like here yeah Ooh. that happens to me that's how I die at the very end as well I'm throwing a monkey bomb but they're still killing me after the monkey bombs actually been thrown so there we use the teleporter again we got very lucky we kept getting these bombs that I suppose helped us out and then we get to round 15 oh, yeah I need to get Juggernaut again luckily this round was dogs so we could just sit in this corner dogs aren't so much of a problem if you knife only it's like they take two with the bowie knife at this stage so and they're three of us all with bowie knives and Juggernaut and everything so it was pretty simple now I noticed there's a video on Machinima of only using a blade doing this knife only but I did notice and I even posted on it even though I was being a bit of a prick saying well you said knife only yet you can see at the end that one of them's got the upgraded carbine and he was firing that and also yeah they were using the fences as well but I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's not a gun you know anything. I've got betters as well these are useful I just put them by the teleporter in case we need a quick escape and stop them coming towards us but no, and I was so shooting last time, one of them had an MP40, and I was just thinking, well, you did say knife only, but did he mean that it, the only use of blade mean that it was just him knife only, or... You know, because if so, that's not really that difficult. With three people, you could easily get into the high 20 rounds, not much problem if you all had upgraded weapons. So. I just thought getting to round 17, the majority knife only and the other things using was quite good. And he also said in that video there was no technique. I, we've got a pretty simple technique. We got me watching the front, which early rounds I could cover on my own. And look, there's Smithy, one of my friends getting down. I watch the front, and there's someone watching the quick revive room and the uh, balcony, and someone else watching the underground bit. And the one in the quick revive can drop back and draw, I'll drop forward and help me at the front, and then the one underground can watch quick revive room and whatever. So it all works well. And at this point, I not sure but do we get split up yeah I think we do I come this side Middleton's not with me he's the other side so I just turn that fence on just in case any zombies decide to walk that way then he turns that one on that was kind of pointless wasn't it then there's one here I think we just get him in time no we don't do we lose him this time or do we get him no we lose him. oh well we get through this round somehow so and there's a nice solo effort to end it off with by Middleton, now that's quite impressive. I think he lasts a good few minutes against a lot of zombies, let's just say. Only man and wife should be so close. I didn't notice that kills the zombies when they try and get the teleporter, how isn't that handy? Do we get anything? No. Yes? Oh, we get a dog, that's fucking useful, isn't it? Yeah, at this point you're getting the random dogs turning up as well. Monkey bomb! I still got the dog, but I turn the fence on, do I? And now I turn the fence on. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, even with Juggernaut, you can get down so quick. Before, if you don't do knife only, you tend not to realise where all these electric fences and whatever are. Because even though this has been out for over a year now, I should think, or something like that, you still. Everybody goes to that back room, it seems, on top of that balcony near enough, or in one of the rooms of the teleporters where the Type 100 is, I think. And you don't realise that when you're running through, like this, if when we just run around trying to escape, how many different fences there are that you can put on. So, yeah. It's a bit slow at this part, but I think there's still quite a few zombies about. Or isn't there? I don't know. Can't remember. Because we at first we struggled to get past round five knife only. Then we realised this technique which we were using here. Well, a bit of a mess, but we played this style. Then we got to round twelve. We couldn't get past that. Then we got to round sixteen several times. 
And then finally we got to round 17 and I thought well after all that trying we'll just leave it at that. Honestly if anyone else tries this you'll realise how difficult it is. So I know a lot of people. I People will say oh no I could get to fucking round 20. Could you fuck? By that time probably take three nice with it. And it's just the number of zombies that gets us killed in the end. Because they just keep coming. <laughs> That's what she said. No, it's just you kill them. Like they are, might only be getting the odd ones, but that barrier kills them. So we think we're all right. Me and I think it is Middleton escape. I get killed, and he runs around the map for a few minutes, just picking off all the odd ones on their own because you would not survive if there's a group of more than probably three of them. You wouldn't survive. So it's a case of just run. And just to prove that it, we didn't actually use any weapons, we've all still got coal and full ammo, but then again, we say, what about the max ammos? But we didn't even fire a single bullet. Yeah, and you can get knife headshots. So I think I get like 30 headshots, and that's purely with a knife. So fucking hell, that was lucky. Deserted Smithy again, and then we are here. Oh. No, we, I really don't think we get him this time. See this bit has, yeah, didn't stand much of a chance on me. Think I go down. Look, I threw the monkey bomb. Monkey bombs throwing, but they're still uh, killing me. That no, doesn't that defeat the whole object of the monkey bomb, really? Oh well. That's me gone. And so after I die, we get to enjoy Middleton running around and trying to survive. I thought by the time, well, after I died, that we could have made it to round 18, but. And look at the number of zombies that far into round 17. We didn't stand much chance. There's three of us, see? Yeah. And all, you know, with four people, I'm not sure whether we get any further, but we might give that a try having four people. Wow. Is Juggernaut coming in handy? Is he? Yeah, he's got Juggernaut. I'm pretty sure he has. Just run! Just pick, at this point it was just pick off the odd ones to try and build up enough points to use the teleport or a fence just to get yourself through because we ended up running out of points because you couldn't get many kills you relied on the fences or we relied on the fences and as you can see we just run around that and then wow uh, fair few zombies there that was lucky as well probably should have ended this round a lot sooner than we did and as you can see he's got no grenades left so that's helpful. At this point I think I was being a bit of a twat and telling him exactly what to do but I just said wait till they're actually right at the top of the stairs and jump down because by that time you've got a load of them in the room that are totally out of the action really. Kill the dog, for fuck's sake, there we go. So at this point you'd have it, no because I'm on the one I'm the one with 1,020 so I'm not sure which one is, I think got 820, he hasn't even got enough to put an electric fence on yet. So and it would be committing suicide to try and jump down to get hand grenades from that underground tunnel. That's quite I see. Now he's got a thousand. I don't understand why he didn't just go back to the back room, put the fence on and sit back there, but instead he does it here. So I suppose he, he should have stayed near. He jumped he jumps down, which means they all come and chase him, whereas if he stayed in more would have probably come through there. Yeah. Not sure, I've heard, uh, we were talking about why you can't upgrade the bowie knife in the pack-a-punch and then I was like, well, to be honest, the bowie knife is like an upgraded version of your normal knife. What more could they do to upgrade it even more? I mean, even if it's a one-hit kill every round, by this time, with the number you get at the same time, you wouldn't actually be able to get them all, so... It'd be kind of a pointless thing. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a bit boring, this bit, but it's just trying to survive. That is how we probably survived so far. I'd throw a monkey bomb and then we'd see how many of them are left, and if we thought we were fucked, we'd just run. Just run to the teleporter and get the fuck out of there. So, yeah. It's coming towards an end. Here. Yeah, just a few too many zombies. Never mind, we did well. Round 17, let's have a quick look at the beat boards. There we go, see, 29 headshots, 255 kills. Well, thank you for watching. Goodbye!